Hello, my name is Connor Joyce. I'm 22 years of age and I'd like to apply for the one year course and the three year course. So just a bit about why I'd love to train at Oxford. Well, I've auditioned two times before and both times I've received feedback from the school and the fact that you actually receive this really helpful and beneficial feedback makes me believe that the tutors really care for each individual's progression and their ability to improve on themselves. And it actually makes me feel welcome to come back and audition for the school and it's as though the tutors are encouraging you to reapply and it's actually helped me to get further in other auditions so the feedback is obviously very useful and constructive and it really works and everything I've read online about the training has been overwhelmingly positive so I have faith that if I attend I'll get the best quality training. So just the details about my speeches. My classical speech will be from William Shakespeare's Cymbeline as the role of posthumous and my contemporary speech will be from Deborah Bruce's The House They Grew Up In as the role of Gareth. So to talk about a moment in a film that really impacted me emotionally, it's from a film called Secrets and Lies, directed by Mike Lee. And there's a particular scene in this film in which Hortense goes to meet her real life mother, Cynthia, because Cynthia has given up Hortense for adoption at birth. So this scene they meet for the first time, and it's been about 30, 40 years. And there's a two shot in which the two characters are sitting next to each other and you see both their expressions. So Hortense is very disappointed by the meeting because it's brought back Cynthia's trauma from having this baby. So the meeting's very disappointed and you see both their feelings about it, which is really effective. It creates this very complicated relationship and it actually really upset me because I wanted the meeting to go well and I was rooting for Hortense to find happiness by meeting her mother, but it didn't work out. So that's how it affected me emotionally. Is there no way for men to be, but women must be half workers? We are all bastards. And that most venerable man, which I did call my father. Because I know not where when I'm stamped. Some courier with his tools made me a counterfeit. Yet my mother seemed to die on at that time. So does my wife that on her all of this? Oh, vengeance, vengeance! Ye of my lawful pleasure she restrained, and prayed me all forbearance. Did it with a putancy so rosy, the sweet ye aunt might well have warmed old Saturn. That I got hers chased as on sun snow. Oh, the devils. Well, I see yellow Yakimo, and an or is not. Alas, at first, for chance he spoke not. But like a full acorned boar, the German one cried, oh, and mounted. For no opposition, but what he looked for should oppose. She should from encounter guard. Can I find out this woman's part in me? For there's no motion that tends to vice in man, but I affirm it is the woman's part. Be it mine, not it. The woman's. Flatterings, hers. Deceivings, hers. All false that man may name. Nay, that hell knows. Listen, I don't know your mother, obviously. I've only seen her through the window. But a lot of people are starting to think that there might be a reason why this bit of a place still. Most people think that something's not right. Sorry, I don't, I, I don't mean to upset you, I just, I just think you should maybe consider some options. And if you were thinking of moving away, which could be a really good idea considering the circumstances. Well, my partner's sister's actually thinking of buying a house in the area and not to be rude, but this isn't exactly an estate agent strain. Well, how about we don't even involve them? 
I could give you the amount that you just said. I'll give you double. Trouble. This is a very family orientated street. Stuff like this hangs about near our work gets out, leaves a bad taste. To be blunt, I don't realistically see how this is going to work out for you and your brother here. I don't know how you're going to be happy here after this. Oh, it's, it's not you. Nobody has any issue with you. It's just, you know, the situation with your brother. 